We're about to get what might be one of the biggest Sims updates ever because the infant update is finally dropping today. It's almost hard to believe that this day is actually here because we've all wanted a baby update for so long. To be honest, I didn't think we'd ever actually get one and if we did, I thought it would be like some minor tweaks to the newborns. I certainly did not anticipate getting a whole new extra life state. The update is technically out right now. I'm just having some slight troubles with actually downloading it. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but I just had a really hard time logging into the EA app, and then when I did, um, The Sims 4 is gone. So it's- it's not in my library? I- I don't know. I don't know what's happening, and I don't know how to fix it. So I've restarted my PC, I've closed and reopened the app, and I just- I don't have The Sims 4. Oh, okay, cool. So now I can't sign in again. <sighs> This is the worst time for this to be happening. Hold on. We might be in? No, we're not in. Okay. <laughs> it was slower that time. I thought it might work. Okay, well, while I try and fix this, I actually recorded some footage with infants when I had early access to the new pack. When they gave me that early access, I had a second version of The Sims 4 in my library. So I had like regular Sims 4 and then this special version of Sims 4 that had just the base game, the new update, and the pack. That version also can't access the gallery and it's got this weird watermark floating around the screen. You know, yesterday I had two versions of this game and today I have zero so things are going really well over here but let's jump into that footage first and I'll show you all of the new free base game stuff we're getting. I made a little family so we can test out some gameplay stuff in a second so I've got Abigail and her grandfather here but first I want to look at like all of the new cast stuff because obviously we haven't had infants ever so all of this is new. So in create a sim infants work just like any other sim you can make them in cast you can change their age you can change their like household relationships you can pick a trait for them. Honestly, I'm not really sure where to even begin because there's so much to look at, but I think we'll start off with traits since there's six new ones for infants. So these babies can be calm, which means they don't cry or get mad as often, but they're less likely to explore things on their own. They can be cautious, which means they're super wary of like new experiences and change. They can be intense, which means they have big emotions and are more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. That one kind of scares me. Babies that are sensitive are like more prone to diaper rash, they're picky, they get overstimulated easily, but they also sleep really well through the night if they've been soothed. Sunny babies are super happy, but they need more social attention. And then wiggly babies are like always up and moving about, but they struggle to fall asleep and stay asleep. Reading through all of these, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of strongly relating to a few of them. I think specifically sensitive, intense, and cautious, easily overstimulated, difficult to calm down, nervous around new things. This is all kind of a little too real, but I really like how all these traits seem to really impact how the babies behave and like how you have to care for them. They all kind of have a pro and a con. It's like, oh, they're super happy, but they need more social stimulation. Although I don't know if intense has any pros, just big emotions and difficult to calm down. And then obviously we've got a bunch of new like hairs and clothing things for the babies. It's kind of interesting. It looks like a few of these hairs have been converted from toddlers like this one and this one. But then we also got a couple of new hairstyles specifically for infants. I think they've kind of tried to give us some variation in hair length because like some babies have very little hair, some babies have a lot of hair. So they tried to give us a few options. Emphasis on a few, like we don't really have that many. We'll get a couple more in the expansion pack and then probably hopefully in the future we'll get more as well. But I guess realistically babies this young all kind of look similar, at least with their hairstyles. This one is by far my favorite. I really like this hair. We've got a lot of clothing too. I think it's a similar thing where about half of these things are converted from toddlers and the other half is new stuff. So you might recognize a couple of these shirts that we've already had, but we also got like this new thing. This one has some really cute swatches too. I love these little stripes. This one is also new and also stripey, but I think my favorite one is this little strawberry sweater. It's got a couple really cute swatches. There's like some bunnies, there's some whales. This is one of my favorite things they've ever made. The bottoms are kind of interesting because I've been wondering like, how are they gonna show that to us in cast if the baby is sitting down? But there's a little animation where they roll over so that you can see better. And I'm pretty sure that almost, if not all of these things are also available for toddlers, but we've got like a new little diaper. This one has a bunch of new swatches as well. We have just some pants and short options, like some little leggings and things. These ones are really cute. There's like some little polka dot pants. Honestly, it's a pretty wide variety of bottoms as well. Like there's 10 options, which is pretty good considering there's like a bunch of swatches and, and like different color variants and you also can barely even see them. So it doesn't matter that much. And then we also have a few full body outfits 
outfits. This is where some of my absolute favorites are. For example, this little coat is the cutest thing I have ever seen. The little mittens on their hands. Then we have a couple things that we also have for toddlers, like the suit and stuff, this thing. This one is my second favorite. This like little bear onesie is so adorable. The texture on it is so good too. We have this adorable little dress. We've got some other onesies and dress options. I mean, overall, I feel like they've done a really good job with the infant cast. I am very pleasantly surprised by like the amount of options that we have. For the sake of time though, I want to jump into the game and like actually start playing with the babies because I'm really curious to see how the gameplay works. Well, first I'm going to need to get some baby stuff. So I might take a look at all the new items too. Keep in mind, I'm doing this based off of memory and like what I've seen today that's new, but I might miss something. If I do, I'll come back and like add that into the end of the video once the update actually comes out. But I know for a fact we're getting two new rugs. This one is like a little baby mat so they can do tummy time. It has some really, really cute swatches. There's like some little bears, some little animals. There's a couple like more plain polka dot ones. There's a little watermelon. This moon one's super cute. I like the fox a lot. And then this can also be sized up, obviously, if you wanted to. So you could use this as like a big circle rug somewhere. And that's really nice because it's super cheap. I'm probably going to use this a lot in starter homes. And then the other rug is this one. It's a little more expensive. It's 110, but even then it's not too bad. And it has so many cute, like little kids room sort of themed swatches. You can see there's like some polka dots. There's some clouds. My favorite is this little dinosaur one. I also love this little space one, but there's just in general, a bunch of really nice swatches on this rug. I've been wanting more rugs and more like kids themed rugs and stuff for so long. This one is going to come in so handy for building. And then there is a ton of extra furniture and decor stuff in the update. It looks like there's a bunch of little baby clutter items. And when I say a bunch, there's like a very large amount of little baby clutter items. Baby care, baby wipes, diaper stack. There's like a little box with diapers and like some creams. In fact, there's like two variants of that kind of box. This one's just some plain baskets, which is going to be useful clutter. This is a moisturization station. So it has like some lotions and stuff. This is a little newborn gift basket. So it's got like some little toys and stuff in it. And the different swatches change the animal in the basket. We also have a couple toys in general. We have these like little squeak heart, kinder maid, kinder rattle, qualified, best buddy. These things all have a lot of swatches as well. I'm so glad they gave us so much clutter because a lot of these things are obviously very baby focused, like the diapers and stuff. But also you could use a bunch of these things just in any room. Like these lotions and baskets are great for just any bathroom. This little item is great for like any kid, like toddler, baby, anything. The wipes also could kind of go in any bathroom. If there is one thing Simmers love, it's clutter items and there's a lot of it here. We also got this little bookshelf. There's like a little wall bookshelf for baby's first library. This item is super, super cute. We also don't really have any like simple bookshelves like this. We've got a couple wall bookshelves, but they're a lot bigger. So it's kind of nice to have a little simple one like this. I know there is a giant llama. I just don't know where it is. There we go. Oh my God, it is giant. <laughs> we have this giant llama item. It comes in a bunch of cute colors. I like the bow on it. I, I don't really know how often I'm going to use this. Like, I don't really know where to put that thing, but um, we have a la la the llama now. We also got this little fox lamp. It's called the cute critter light and it's got a bunch of like really adorable kids room swatches. I think my favorites are these little cloud ones, but it also has just like some plain ones that'll kind of fit in any room. Kind of random, but we got this bland co contemporary end table. It's like a super low coffee table side table thing. I think that this is meant to be like next to the toddler beds because the toddler because all the toddler beds are like super low so the other nightstands look really tall next to them speaking of toddler beds we have one new one in this update it's really nice too it's like very simple but it's got some pretty colors on it this light pink one i think is my favorite but also this green and yellow one i don't know this is a great bed but the cool thing about it is that it's like convertible oh my sim doesn't have high enough handiness skill but basically you can convert this crib into this toddler bed and like back and forth so you could buy the crib and then as your sim grows up and turns into a toddler, you can convert it into a toddler bed. Cribs are obviously like the main new thing in this update and we got a bunch of them. It looks like they gave us a crib to match pretty much every single toddler bed. So like this default kids room set also has a matching crib now. These are all of the cribs lined up. So we have this one that's like a portable crib so you can drag it into your sim's inventory and like move it around with you, which is kind of nice. This is the one that matches
is the new toddler bed. It's also got some really cute swatches. This one matches like all the base game stuff. So we're all very familiar with this, I think. And then this one matches the other base game toddler bed. I like this. I think it's cute, but I, um, I don't know. I feel like maybe the wood is too thick or something. There's something about this that I don't love. My favorite one is definitely the new one. I'm looking forward to getting more cribs and packs and stuff. I just, I really, really like the crib item. I've been wanting to build nurseries for years. We like make fake cribs. We make fake changing tables. So it's really cool to finally have real ones. Speaking of crib, there is also a new base game bassinet and we haven't gotten one of these ever. We've got a couple from packs, but we've never gotten a new base game one. And this one is so cute cute. There's a bunch of really nice swatches too, like the rainbow one, but also some kind of pretty pastels. I'm so glad they did this. I mean, obviously the update is focused on the better babies, not the box babies, but <laughs> it's nice to have a new box for once. I think this string of stars light is also new. It's just got some kind of cute little star swatches on it. We have this little diaper storage basket as well, and it almost looks like towels. So you could probably use this outside of just nurseries and like put it in a bathroom or something. It's also only 65 simoleons. And then I think the last thing build mode wise is this new baby gate that we've gotten. So there's a new fence. It's got like a bunch of kind of fun, bright colors on it. And then a new baby gate to match. And then with this, you can lock it and apply baby proofing so that the infants can't get in there or get out, I guess. You can do the same thing on regular doors now as well, like apply the baby proofing. I'm too excited to do any sort of real build. So I'm just putting like some basic furniture down in this room. We've got a little bedroom. We've got a high chair. Oh my god, look at this. He's got a baby. She's sitting up. What do you want to do? Play peekaboo? Oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> look at her bounce around. How do you move? Crawl here. <gasps> oh my god. I just, I feel like I actually can't believe this is really happening to me right now. We've been waiting for something like this for years. For like eight years, people have wanted this. And now that it's actually here, I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay, couple other updates. You can set a feeding preference now. So when a sim is born, you can set if they prefer bottle feeding or breastfeeding. There's nobody here that can breastfeed feed right now, but if there were, we could like pick a preference. I think I want to try some baby food. Oh my god. Okay. There's so many options. What should we pick first? Ice cream? I think so. Starting off strong. <laughs> I want to have ice cream first. I made Abigail sunny, so she needs more social attention, but I don't think that she'll like be weird about trying new things. How exciting! Abigail loved ice cream. See? I know. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick another one? Let's try applesauce. Abigail was unsure about applesauce. I, I agree. I'm not an applesauce person. She likes hummus. Oh, enough to make a huge mess. I want to find something she doesn't like. Do you think she might hate like, oh, lemon? That's sour. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm busy. She likes lemon. Unsure about papaya. Oh, she loved rice porridge. Fine. I've been trying too many things and now she's getting tired. <laughs> I'll take a nap. Sorry. Let's go take a nap. Oh, wait, before we nap, should I add like the baby thing? Yes, maybe next time. Thank you for coming. But like, I've, I've got a child to take care of. Oh, this is taking longer than I thought it would. I was hoping it would be instant. The kid is crying in the chair. She wants to sleep so bad. I think this might help us sleep better though. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'll put her to bed. Play lullaby. Oh, there's so many options. I didn't give her a sleepwear. I was so excited to come into game that I didn't pick all of her outfits. I only picked one. What are you doing? I'm trying to put her to bed. There we go. Okay, she's screaming. Try to sleep. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, it worked. Okay, needs help from low motives. No fun from low fun. What's not fun about trying smashed peas? Okay, well also in this update, you can see what skill they're building. There's a little icon above their heads. They also made it so that children can gain more skills now. I don't have a kid in the household, but I'll show that off later, like when the update is actually out. The other really huge thing is that you can now have a science baby. This is sort of an alternative to adoption or to like changing settings on who can get pregnant in cast. So now anybody? can have a science baby. You can do it with someone, you can do it alone. It doesn't have to be romantic. So like if he had a friend that he wanted to have a science baby with, he could. But by doing this, grandpa can have like a genetically related to him child, but like instantly <laughs> and without anybody else involved. Oh my God, you're making me go to daycare. I'll be home in like two seconds, but this is instant. So there's no pregnancy involved. You just have a baby. There's also a chance of it being twins. I've only done it twice now. That's my second time. So I've not had twins with it yet, but apparently you can. I kind of regret that because 
now I've got a lot of babies. Okay, okay, okay. Baby care, change diaper. Uh, give Abigail a bath too. Oh no. Why, are, what are you doing? I don't know you, Janine, please. Here's what it looks like when you bathe the babies now. They like sit in this little chair in the bathtub. Oh, and they also just leave the diaper on the floor <laughs> when you change their diaper. I'll put that in the trash can. She is so cute. I just love this update so much. I'm so excited. This is such a dream come true for so many of us who've been playing this game for a long time. While she's sitting there playing, I wanted to show you the one other kind of big update because they changed the pie menu for social interactions. So what that means is now when I click friendly, there's like some subcategories. So for example, gossip, hobbies, interests, small talk. There's a few new interactions too. brag about baby, share baby pictures. When you first click on a sim, it still gives you some like suggested interactions, but then you can go to like mean and then there's a few more subcategories to make it easier to find stuff. I'm really glad they did this because one, it ties into the new pack. There's like some social stuff going on in the new pack, but also it just makes it way easier because there's so many interactions now. I think with that, we've covered all of the major new stuff in this update, at least on a basic level. Oh. The kid's asleep on the floor. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. She's also kind of in a bad mood because she's hungry and sleepy, but I'm gonna send you back to present day, Simsy, now. We'll go over the patch notes and maybe see anything that I might have missed. Okay, now I've got The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, but I still have no Sims 4. I keep going offline and then back online, wondering if that'll fix it and make it pop back up. Wait, oh, that worked that time. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually downloading something, which is maybe a good sign. So in settings, I turned on update games automatically, and then I just kept going offline and back online. My library is completely empty still, but it is downloading a Sims 4 update that's three gigabytes, so I think we're actually getting it. From what I've seen on social media, it seems like a lot of people are having this issue today. I'm a little scared to complain too much, because I don't want to like say it too loud and have the EA app hear me complaining and then choose to stop working again or something. I love the EA app. It works so well and I have no problems with it. As you can see, um, it's, a, it's a perfect application. Okay, it's verifying the files now. I think we're good. I think it's gonna open. Okay, update complete. Let's open the game. Sure, fine, continue. Oh, I'm actually so nervous. I've played this already. <laughs> I don't know why I feel so like anxious about it. Okay, this is a slightly less exciting part of this update, but speaking of mods, all of your mods are gonna be completely broken. If you have things like UI cheats, MC Command Center, the more cast columns mod, any sort of mods like that, those are gonna completely break with this update because they've added a new life state. Everything's gonna be a mess. If you've got things like custom content, like a CC hair or a shirt or whatever, that stuff should be fine. But if you have mods, those things are gonna be completely broken, so delete them and then keep checking on the modder social pages for when they post an update. They're gonna have to fix it and then reshare it, which kind of sucks. But if you open your game and you're having a ton of issues and you're like, oh my god, my game is broken, it's probably a mod. Okay, well, should we open the game and like make, make a baby? That is a weird way of describing it, but you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so curious to see. I know I've already seen it. Like I played in early access. It just feels different when it's like actually in your game. <gasps> oh, this is from Nifty Knitting. Oh, they made a version of it for the infants. Oh, I hadn't seen that yet. That's so cute. We also got the little knitted hat from Nifty Knitting. I'm still waiting on the patch notes because I kind of want to see like a full list of all the new things. Considering the game isn't working for like half of everybody, I don't know if the patch notes are going to be out yet. Oh, I take it back. I think they are. Okay, I think this is like a blog post kind of explaining the new stuff to players that maybe haven't seen all the social posts about it. Well, while we're waiting for patch notes, I just realized that I don't think I showed off the hats on Infant Cast when I had early access, so we did get some hats. This one is a conversion of a toddler hat, but we also have a new helmet. This one is so cute. I was a helmet baby. I had to wear a helmet because my head was flat, so they put a helmet on me so I could be shaved better. I had like a problem with my neck or something. I have to ask my mom. Um, what was the problem, but I was a helmet baby. We also have these little bunny ears, which are so, so, so cute. We've got this little hat, also so cute. And we have this one, which feels exceptionally large on their head. <laughs> I think compared to this one too, it just feels giant. I don't think I'm complaining though. It's really cute. Like that swatch with the little rainbow. 
This one? This one? Oh, there's just so much cute stuff for them. I'm so excited. Well, I want to go test things out actually in game though. To be honest, at this point, I don't even know what I showed off earlier. <laughs> I don't even know what I did in like the first part of this video. This whole thing is so all over the place, but I'm going to have a science baby because I want to see the new newborn things. Congratulations, Stanley. You are a father. Oh my God, I had twins. Oh, that's new. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. Oh, star. Huh. Okay. Well, they said that you can have twins with the science babies. I just hadn't seen it. That's kind of cool. Okay, there's a debug box. I'm putting some lights so I can get a more up-close look at the babies. They changed them so that they're supposed to look more realistic and like younger. In a way, them looking younger almost makes them look older because they seem like more wrinkly. <laughs> you know how some babies look like old men? That's what I think the newborns look like now. They also have accurate eye color to their genetics, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's not actually cool. It, it's what you would expect, but <laughs> we didn't have that until now. I don't know what this is. You can't do anything with it. So, oh, you actually can't do anything with it. So they actually did do a small amount of updates to these bassinet babies. Now we can choose feeding preferences. You can change their diapers. And horrifyingly, when you do change their diapers, it puts a diaper on the floor. <laughs> this happens with the infants now as well. Whenever you change their diaper, it just throws it on the floor. So you actually have to clean up after it now, which is honestly kind of iconic. That used to happen in some older Sims games. So it's kind of fun to have it come back. Oh, we can see we're getting the parenting skill more easily. And I also wanted to look at some of the cross pack stuff because look at this. You can choose to use cloth diapers if you have laundry on the lot. I didn't know they were going to do that. So I'm kind of curious to see what that looks like. I'll just put a washer dryer here and we can test it out. Use cloth diapers. Change diaper. Oh yeah, it just gives me laundry. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> go back. Go back. I don't want that. I want disposable diapers. Oh no, 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 no. Please leave me alone. Not again. I want to age them up so I can see what it looks like. But first I wanted to see because it looks like they are only a newborn for a day. So their birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to do it now because why would I wait? <laughs> I just want to see the infants. The infants are the new stuff. Show me, show me, show me. Oh my God. Oh, look at you. You look just like Stanley. That's kind of cute. No, no. Don't forget about the other one. Age up. I might regret this. <laughs> I don't think I want two infants. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun at all. I just realized there's some kids stuff that I didn't get a chance to see. I'm going to go get a child so that we can test all of that out. Again, I realize that is a very bizarre thing to say, but um, I need Frank here so I can test out the like baby interactions, but also the new children's skill gain. Okay, so kids can watch, entertain, play peekaboo, talk. I want to see the peekaboo. Oh, look at how cute that is. And then the other like major new kids thing is that they can gain some real skills now. I think that they can gain logic. They can gain violin. I think that they can probably gain piano as well. So I want to just test that really quickly. So back in the day. So, oh, what's happening? Oh, the kid's playing in the bookcase. Okay. Well, I was going to say up until now, kids couldn't actually gain any of the real skills. They would just gain like creativity when playing piano. So you could play piano your whole childhood and then when you become a teen you're back to like skill level zero but they changed it now so that kids can gain some skills there's like some fundamental ones still obviously like social creativity the like top four they always had but now they can gain a few adult skills and what they did apparently is make it so that you gain these fundamental skills faster now and then you gain the adult skills slowly but you can still gain them when you're a child I don't think they can gain every skill but they can definitely gain a few of them so we got piano yeah yeah and look Look, right now I'm gaining mental and logic at the same time. I'm so glad they did this. That's gonna make things so much easier. I'm also glad they put the little icon so you can see what skill you're gaining easier. I am just so excited about this. It's a real shame they're having so many issues with the servers. Obviously it really sucks, but it's not like the end of the world. They're gonna be able to fix it probably quickly. It just looks really bad because it looks like you don't have any games. I can see the Sims 4 now, but I, I can't see my Sims 2, Sims 3 stuff anymore. So it, this is gonna sort itself out. They did didn't, like take your games back or anything like that. Don't worry. The problem I think is that the EA app just can't connect to the server so it can't see what games you own. But once they work it out, it's all going to be fine and go back to normal. It's just really unfortunate timing considering how major of an update this was. So it like really stinks that it's happening today of all days when everybody wants to play with infants so bad. I think the last little thing that I want to test out is getting a dog and seeing how the pets you interact with the babies. I haven't gotten to see this yet because I didn't have pets obviously when I was playing in early access. So I'm, 
like, oh, rainbow, that's cute. So I'm really curious to see like what happens. I think the infants can pet them. Watch, smile at, sleep next to pet. Oh my God, sleep next to. Please, I wanna see. Are you sleeping in a pile of trash? Must you really do that? Oh, they're sleeping on the floor together. Oh, oh my God. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Smile at, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. Oh, this is making me so happy. I'm so glad this update is finally out. This is gonna be so much fun to play with. Oh, the dog is licking the baby. Oh my God. Oh my God, we finally have patch notes. The update's been out for over an hour and we finally have these so we can actually make sure we didn't miss anything. Obviously I'll link this down below if you wanna read the full thing, but I'll give you some highlights first. Oh my God, did I forget to show you the skin details? I knew we were getting the skin details, but I think I forgot to show them off. Hold on, opening my game again, we'll go there. I'm telling you, this video is all over the place. This is what I get for filming half of it like a few days ago and then with the EA app being broken, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so this skin detail category has a ton new birthmarks. There's a bunch of different shapes and also placements and all of these have different swatches so that you can uh -huh. fit different skin tones better. It looks like we've got three on the back. There's a couple shoulder ones. We have a couple on the arms. This one is on the upper thigh on both sides. We also have this smaller one. Oh. And then we're also getting stretch marks in the base game. So there's a few different variants of the stretch marks as well. There's a couple different placement options. This is such a huge deal that we're finally getting these. I think the other main thing is that they've added a c-section scar to the base game as well if i can find it there we go so we have that c-section scar also and for some reason they're adding a bunch of moles and freckles too i thought those were going to be in the base game but they're in the oh. pack so those are growing together exclusive i don't really know why they did that because we got like so many skin details added to the base game in this update but like the the moles are not base game i don't really agree with that decision but obviously i'm glad to have all of these things base game I just would like to have, you know, everything base game. They kind of showed these off a bunch in some of the cast teasers they've done. So you might have seen these already, but I am so excited they finally did this. There's actually quite a few new base game skin details. I'm looking at the patch notes again, and I'm kind of annoyed by the screenshots they're sharing because they're showing off these new freckles and the new moles, but those are not base game. So I really, I don't like that they did that. I think even this scar on that Sim's forehead is from the pack as well. So I don't really know why they're highlighting it here. I think these are screenshots from the teasers they've posted on social media, but this to me is not good. I, I really don't understand why those things are behind a paywall and like why they're being shown here. But otherwise in the patch notes, they also went over a bunch of bug fixes. They're claiming again to have updated fears to tune the unfulfilled dreams and dead end job ones. Apparently they'll appear less often and I hope that that's true because that's been a really big problem. Hair swatches and casts will now be more consistent across hairstyles and ages. So did they go back and change some? Oh, they added some new decor likes and dislikes. Industrial, holidays, events, vintage, art deco, luxe, shotgun, and shabby decor are all now available as a like and dislike. Several nursery wall decorations have had a color consistency update. Okay, I know what they're talking about with this. I saw this in early access and I was like, am I imagining this or did they change it? These paintings, do you know these paintings? I use these all the time in nurseries. For some reason, the swatches were not the same. Like the colors didn't match, but more importantly, they all have like a white and different color swatch. And this one used to be red, but they changed it. So it's like an orangey yellow color now. I'm going to use that so much more often. I never use those two. I usually just put these two together because I don't like red, <laughs> but now I can use that one. Oh my God. They finally fixed the lawyer's exam thing. I'm telling you, I've had this glitch for like a year and a half. I, I never successfully passed the lawyer exam because it kept glitching. I had to change it and they finally <laughs> fixed it. I think that's all of the ones that are like seriously standing out to me. But again, I'll link this down below so you can read the whole thing for yourselves. Okay, well, obviously we've not like really played with this update. I mostly just wanted to get this video out so that I could show you all all of the new things and like share some excitement with you. But I am gonna go live tonight and play this update over on my Twitch channel. So if you wanna hang out and like play with us live, I'll link my Twitch down below. My name is just Lil Simsy on there. Everything that I showed off today is free in the base game available for everybody to download. And then tomorrow I'm going to post my full review of the new expansion pack growing together. So subscribe so you don't miss that one. And on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I am so curious.
curious to hear your thoughts about infants in the comments down below. I know a lot of you are just as, if not more, excited than I am, so I hope you have the best time playing with them tonight. I am just so excited. I'm in such a good mood right now. This is so cool. I, I'm so glad we finally have the update. Anyway, have a great night playing, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, everybody. You know, all of that cross pack stuff, like the cloth diapers, the pets, it's so cute. I'm so happy.